Peppa Pig, Peppa's Dinosaur Party. Peppa and George were visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Grandpa, cheered Peppa. Hello, Peppa, hello, George, said Grandpa Pig. Dinosaur, Arr! said George, roaring. And hello to you too, Mr. Dinosaur, said Grandpa Pig, chuckling. Suddenly there was a roar. Roar! Ah! shouted Grandpa Pig, leaping up into the air. Granny Pig was dressed as a dinosaur. My goodness, Granny Pig, said Grandpa Pig. You gave me a shock. Sorry, said Granny Pig. I'm having a dinosaur day today. Dinosaur. <laughs> Granny Pig explained that her friends were coming round to pretend it was the time of the dinosaurs. It's called a historical reenactment, she said. Sounds like a party, said Grandpa Pig. It's not a party, said Granny Pig. It's very serious. I am dressed as a Tyrannosaurus. She gave Peppa and George their costumes. Peppa is an Allosaurus and George is a Stegosaurus. Wow. Just then, Grandad Dog arrived in his tow truck. Rrr, he growled. Hello, everyone. What are you supposed to be? Asked Grandpa Pig. I'm a Triceratops, said Grandad Dog proudly. Peppa and George looked at the big purple dinosaur on the back of the tow truck and wondered what it was. The purple dinosaur rose up into the air. Hello, said Granny Sheep and Granny Wolf from underneath it. Grrr. Ah, said Grandpa Pig. A Brontosaurus. Actually, said Granny Pig, this is an Apatosaurus. Wonderful, said Grandpa Pig. I'll pop the kettle on. Dinosaurs followed Granny Pig to the back garden. This is how the world looked a long time ago, when there were dinosaurs, she told them. Let's pretend we were there, said Grandad Dog. What do we do? asked Peppa. Stomp and roar, said Grandad Dog. I see the party started, said Grandpa Pig, bringing out the tea. It's not a party, said Granny Pig. Grumpy Rabbit arrived. Hello, he shouted. Sorry I'm late. Why are you dressed as a caveman? asked Granny Pig. Dinosaurs and cavemen go well together replied Grumpy Rabbit. Granny Pig said, Well, actually they didn't live at the same time. But Grumpy Rabbit wasn't listening. I'm good at being a caveman, he said. <laughs> I hope you don't mind, continued Grumpy Rabbit. But I invited my daughter. Everyone felt the ground beneath them begin to shake. Hello! Miss Rabbit shouted down from the top of a gigantic robot dragon. Thump! The dragon nearly knocked Granny and Grandpa Pig's house over. Oops! Sorry! cried Mrs. Rabbit. It's a bit hard to control this thing. That's a dragon, said Granny Pig, not a dinosaur. Grandpa Pig watched his garden shake with the stomping. 
didn't the dinosaurs die out at some point? He grumbled. Around 66 million years ago, when the world was hit by an asteroid, said Granny Pig. What's an asteroid? asked Pepper. A huge ball of rock floating through space, explained Grandad Dog. I wonder where we could get an asteroid from said Granny Pig. Just then, Mr. Fox arrived. Hooray! Granny Pig, Peppa and George went to meet him. Hello, said Mr. Fox. I heard you were having a dinosaur party, and I thought I might be able to show you something. I've got rubber pterodactyls, nodding herbivores. We need an asteroid, said Granny Pig. It's like a very big ball, added Peppa. <laughs> Mr. Fox thought for a moment. I've got just the thing, he said, getting a deflated ball out from the back of his van. A beach ball, asked Peppa. It's a giant beach ball, announced Mr. Fox as he started to inflate it. You wait and see. Ooh, said Peppa. It is giant. <laughs> Perfect, said Granny Pig once the beach ball was fully inflated. This will be an excellent asteroid. The asteroid bounced past Granny and Grandpa Pig's house and down the hill to the garden full of dinosaurs. Peppa and George raced after it as fast as they could, followed by Granny Pig and Mr. Fox. The asteroid bounced all around the garden. Bumping into the dinosaurs, and even the dragon. Mr. Fox turned to Granny Pig. You've got people in fancy dress, palm trees and a beach ball, he said. This is an amazing beach party. It's not a party, said Granny Pig. Mr. Fox had an idea and went back to his fan. He came back with two big speakers on wheels. You can't have a beach party without music, he said. This is the best party ever, Granny, said Peppa. She danced and sang a song. Do the stomp, do the stomp, do the roar, do the dinosaur roar. Stomp, 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 roar, roar, roar. Do the dinosaur stomp! Stomp! Roar! <laughs> Everyone had a fantastic time stomping and roaring to the music. Peppa loves dinosaur parties. Everyone loves dinosaur parties. <laughs> it's not a party! The end. Peppa Pig, Peppa and Friends. Peppa loves her friends. She sees them every day at playgroup. Sometimes Peppa goes to playgroup early because she has joined Breakfast Club. <laughs> At Breakfast Club, there is cereal, fruit, and lots of toast. Please, can I have a slice? asked Peppa. Pop! Toast comes out for Peppa and all her friends. Hooray! Hooray! Susie Sheep is Peppa's best friend. They have played together since they were babies. 
Peppa and Susie like pretending. If they forget their bicycles, they ride on pretend ones instead. My pretend bicycle has got sparkly wheels, says Peppa, and it's painted like a rainbow. Susie gets on her pretend bicycle. My bike is pink and fluffy, she says. <coughs> Danny Dog likes dressing up with Peppa. They love to dress as pirates. Shiver me timbers, says Danny. Where's me pieces of eight? Pardon? asks Peppa. Pirate talk can be a bit difficult to understand. Danny points to the map. They need to find the pirate treasure. Peppa spots a bag of chocolate coins beside the sofa. There it is, she cries. Mandy Mouse is Peppa's new friend. Mandy is very good at playing the recorder. Let's play a song together, she says. Good idea, Mandy, says Peppa. One, two, three. Peppa and Mandy lift up their recorders. Then they put their fingers over the holes and blow. Madame Gazelle smiles. Oh my, what lovely music. Rebecca Rabbit and Peppa love animals. Today, they're at a petting farm. The petting farm is a place where you go to meet tiny little animals. Peppa gasps. Look at all the guinea pigs. The guinea pigs are very furry. They run up to see Peppa and Rebecca. Rebecca strokes an orange guinea pig. Can you hear him squeaking, Peppa? Pedro Pony makes Peppa laugh. <laughs> it's always fun when he comes to play. Sometimes Pedro and Peppa are allowed to help make pizzas for tea. What toppings do you want? asks Peppa. She chooses cheese, tomatoes and mushrooms. Pedro chooses cheese and pineapple. Look, shouts Pedro, I've made a smiley face. <laughs> Gerald Giraffe is Peppa's tallest friend. He likes running around outside. Come on, says Gerald. Let's play basketball. Peppa aims the ball towards the hoop. It is very high up. Oh no, I can't reach it. Peppa cries. Gerald has a go. Whoosh! He throws the ball through the hoop. George is Peppa's little brother. They are extra special friends. George is still small. He likes copying Peppa. Look, George, says Peppa. There's a big muddy puddle. Peppa jumps into the puddle. George jumps into squelch. This muddy puddle is so big, cries Peppa. There's even room for all my friends. Peppa loves her friends. Everybody loves Peppa. The end. Peppa Pig. Bubbles. Peppa and George are drinking orange juice. Look at all the tiny bubbles, says Peppa. <laughs> Peppa wants to make bigger bubbles. Wow! Peppa and George blow through their straws. Bubble, says George. <laughs> Peppa and George go into the garden to blow more bubbles. Oh. Dip the stick in the bubble mixture, Peppa tells George. Now take a big breath and blow. Peppa blows a big bubble. Wow. Next it's George's turn. But he doesn't have enough breath to blow bubbles. Lift the stick and wave it around, says Mummy Pig. Bubble, says George. Now George can make bubbles too. 
Making bubbles is even more fun if you run along, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> George runs, waving the wand to make a stream of bubbles. <laughs> Wait for me, calls Peppa, chasing him. George is having fun making bubbles, and Peppa is having fun popping them. I love bubbles, cries Peppa. Peppa and George want to play with bubbles all day. Oh no, Peppa gasps. There's no more bubble mixture. Oh no. <sighs> I have an idea, says Daddy Pig. Mummy Pig, please bring me a bucket. Peppa, please bring me some washing up liquid. And George, please bring me my old tennis racket. <coughs> Mummy Pig, Peppa and George give everything to Daddy Pig. Wow! Daddy Pig fills a bucket with water, then he adds a washing up liquid. Daddy Pig has made his own bubble mixture. Daddy Pig uses the racket as a giant bubble wand. Wow! Come on everyone, Daddy Pig cries. <laughs> Daddy Pig is making lots of bubbles as he runs. Don't slip and fall, shouts Mummy Pig. I'll be fine, says Daddy Pig. But he is running very fast. <laughs> oh no! Daddy Pig has fallen over. Are you alright, Daddy Pig? Asked Mummy Pig. Yes, I'm fine, thank you. But I've spilt all my bubble mixture. <sighs> I think it's gone up my nose, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> The bubble mixture makes Daddy Pig sneeze. <laughs> Daddy, you've made the biggest bubble ever, <laughs> cries Peppa. <laughs> wow. Wow, says everyone. But without the bubble mixture, we can't make any more bubbles, <laughs> says Peppa sadly. <sighs> I have an idea, says Mummy Pig. The spilt mixture has made a muddy puddle for us to jump in. The puddle is all bubbly, gasped Peppa. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy, bubbly puddles. <laughs> the End First words with Peppa Pig. Dens. <laughs> Peppa's many friends came to play in her treehouse. The treehouse is yellow and its door is green. Grandpa Pig made the treehouse for us. It is the best, said Peppa. Peppa made tea for her five friends in the treehouse. Hmm. Don't forget me, said Zoe Zebra. Don't be sad. I have made you some tea in the green cup, said Peppa. <laughs> Danny Dog and Pedro Pony came to call at the treehouse. Is there room for us in your treehouse, said Danny Dog. <laughs> I don't think you will fit. There are five friends in here. There are too many friends in here, said Peppa. Grandpa Pig made a den for Danny and Pedro. I like its flag. It is the best, said Pedro Pony. If you pull this bit, its red door goes up and down, said Grandpa Pig. It has so many good bits, it is the best, <laughs> said Danny Dog. Thank you. 
Peppa and her friends came to call it the den. <gasps> its red door was pulled down. Wow! Is there room for us in the den? said Peppa. I don't think you will fit. There are too many friends in here, <coughs> said Danny. <coughs> Grandpa Pig got some string. <coughs> if you pull the string from the treehouse to the den, you can call your friends, <coughs> said Grandpa Pig. <coughs> the friends pulled the string. The tree house Grandpa Pig made for us is the best. Its door is green, <coughs> called Susie Sheep. The den that Grandpa Pig made for us is the best. Its door goes up and down if you pull it, <coughs> called Danny Dog. Peppa's five friends went to the den. <coughs> the den is the best as the door goes up and down, they said. I don't think so. I still think the tree house is the best. Its door is green, said Peppa. <coughs> then the rain came. The den did not have a roof. <coughs> Many of the friends went back to the tree house. The tree house is the best as its roof will keep the rain off, they said. <coughs> I don't think so. I still think the den is the best, <coughs> said Danny Dog. <coughs> then the sun came back. The rain had made five spots of mud on the green grass. <coughs> now we don't want to go in the den or the tree house, <coughs> said Susie Sheep. The mud is best for us. The end. Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more.